Hello, good morning. I have not been live in a couple of weeks, at least not publicly. I've been live in my uh, um, my groups, my paid groups, but I haven't been here. So I've missed you so much. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on where you are. Uh, I'm going to give it, let me check, let me make sure that I am broadcasting. Hello, Katina, I missed you so much. How are you? See, I feel like I haven't been live in forever, in this love story and on my Facebook page. So I'm so, so happy to be here and I'm so excited to have you here. Whoa! Oh, Katina, you are so sweet. Thank you. Do you like my new hairdo? <laughs> I like it too. <laughs> Thank you, Katina. Yes! Okay, all right. So first, let me make sure that this is showing up in Be's Love Story. Then we'll get going with our live. I have something exciting to share with you. Hi, Tracy! So lovely to see you. So here, all right, so I actually, oh, thank you, thank you, yeah. So I never actually do this, uh, but I feel like something is telling me to, to ask you this today, I don't know why, but anyway, so please, if you feel like, all right, so so the title of this, uh, the, uh, the, um, the Facebook Live is, uh, if you feel like sometimes you are the facilitator, like, uh, you know, sometimes how uh, I've heard a lot of people tell me, okay, I have introduced this person to this business, but yet they are growing much faster and much bigger than me. Or, uh, or I, I opened up this shop and I'm selling my own stuff. And then yes, somebody that is co-renting with me is selling way more than I am, right? Or even in a relationship or like a, like a husband and wife, right? Uh, how sometimes we end up, uh, um, you know, like having the other person, uh, we are facilitating their dreams coming through, but yet ours is not coming through. Uh, so... Um, that's the title of this. This is what I'm going to be discussing today. There's something really, really big about this, right? And when we awaken to that, like a lot of things start changing. So if you feel called to it, if you feel like anybody is in your life that needs to hear this message right now, please share. Share with them. Invite them to this Facebook Live or share on your, your profile, whatever you know you feel called to do, all right? So with that said, uh, again, so like if you've ever felt like that before, like if you've ever felt like, okay, I am the one that is introducing all these people to this business model, uh, to this thing that uh, I've been dreaming of creating, but yet, um, oh, okay, oh, Katina said, Katina said, wow, I was just talking about this yesterday. Katina, can you tell me what you were talking about? Like, what was the, the subject? Can you tell me? Maybe I can tackle, maybe I can talk about it a little bit, right? Um, and so I see it over and over again. I myself have experienced that in my life where um, what, what end, ended up happening at the time is like I was like a broadcasting. What, what ends up happening is if that's happening in your life, it's because, right, you are a broadcasting channel for all the stronger personalities around you, right? Like they are kind of using your energy to create their own desires, to create um, uh, their vision. Why? Do you know why? Because, because you yourself are not definite about what you want. When we are not clear, when we don't decide, right? When we are not clear about what it is that we want to create, what ends up happening is things happen around us, like randomly, and uh, we don't understand why, right? We don't understand. And when I say uh, we, we know it's all about choice, right? It's all about choice. So we have all this energy around us, right? Our own, like our own, it's like a we all we like we have antennas and we're going around and the world is waiting for us to create right to tell the you know, the universe is waiting for us to to tell it this is what i want to create this is what i want to create but yet because we are so afraid because we 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 feel like okay if i do choose maybe i'll i'll fail and it doesn't feel good so what we end up have do what ends up happening is we just go around 
like we just let life happen to us, right? We just let how life happen to us instead of us taking, um, taking what do you call it? Like a charge of our life. Uh, and actually creating the things that we want, deciding, like being very definite about, okay, this is what I want to create, right? This is what I want to create and I'm going to do everything in my power to make it happen, right? And I'm going to take the universe on my side. I'm going to broadcast that very clearly, right? And say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, Katina says, I have helped people build their dreams and neglecting my own. I have helped start two daycares while not starting. Okay, so Facebook. Oh, actually, actually I have something. There's something I can do. I can just go into uh, into the Facebook on, on my page and then I can read the whole comment, Katina. And then, yeah, isn't that interesting? It happens to, to so many people. And as I am speaking with you right now, it happened to me so many times. And I was so frustrated. That's what happens. So what ends up happening is we, we, we end up being like feeling like the victims. The per this person did this to me because of me. This happened. But in reality, the fact is it's, like, it's because we ourselves did not take charge, right? We ourselves did not definitely say, okay, this is what I am going to create. This is what I choose to create. And when that happens, right, things just happens to us randomly. And then we wake up one day, sadly, sadly, very sadly, we, we wake up one day and then life has gone by and we haven't really uh, enjoyed life the way that we, we were intending to do, to do. Okay, Katina, I'm looking for your message so, ca so that I can, your comment so that I can read it all. Um, what does it say? All right. Unfortunately, it's not even showing it to me here. All right. So, you ladies, that whoever shared uh, the video, thank you so very much for sharing the video. Um, anyways, yeah. So, so how do we change that? How do we change that? How do we change it so that we are not just some like randomly broadcasting other people's, uh, uh, per, you know, like desires and making it happen for them and then for ourselves and nothing has happened. How do we do that? First of all, we have to make a decision. We have to decide, right? That's, it's, it's as simple as that, right? We have to decide knowing that we have like a huge power behind us that is backing us and then just really release the resistance around it, our resistance, any resistance that may come up uh, around our choice and um and just go for it right often right you may have heard me say this or share this before quite often what i do is when i make like a new bold choice um in the past i actually never made choices right in the past uh i didn't make choices things just i just let things happen to me randomly right because i don't even know why right i didn't maybe because i don't know why like when I look deeper, like at a certain point, it was because I was afraid. Okay, if I choose right now, then um, uh, maybe if I fail, it doesn't feel good. That was one point. But way before then, I just didn't, I just didn't choose, right? I just went by, life just went by, you know, like randomly and things happen and then things happen. Um, uh, and then one day I woke up, one day I woke up, right, of course, through my trainings and stuff like that, my brain trainings, uh, and I realized, oh my God, everything that has happened to my life, in my life, uh, so far up until now, it was of my own creation. Even though it was random, it was of my own creation. And I was like, okay, it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up and start uh, creating things in my life. I like that that i truly choose start choosing the things that right clearly choosing uh the life that i want to live clearly choosing the life that i want to live right and was it always easy it wasn't always easy sometimes we encounter challenges especially if we're going from you know this is something that happens quite often actually when we're making a choice that is totally out of our, um our like our habits uh then things seems to go like 
uh, out of control, totally out of control. And then usually people are like, oh my God, this isn't for me. I'm not going to do this. And then a lot of people, what they do is they just retrieve back to their comfort zone and not choose anymore, right? Uh, and that is actually not growth. The way to do it that I have come to experience, right? I'm not here to, you know, like, uh, I force anybody to, 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 to go my way, but I'm just sharing my own experience so that if you, this is something that you are going through or that you have go, gone through, uh, to just, just another perspective, right? The one way, the one way to stop really being like that is to start like making definite choice about how we want our lives to be. And so when I say that, uh, quite often some people say to me, wow, this is what I want. But, you know, no but. Hi, Ivy, right? Let's choose, let's, let's choose without but, no but, right? Let's choose without but, right? But, I mean, I mean <laughs> B-U-T, right? There's no but, there is no but. Like, people say, okay, I would like to have that house, but it's too expensive. In the same, in the same sentence, I just told the universe, I want that house, but I don't want it, right? Uh, I would like to travel, uh, I would like to go to Jamaica, but I don't have the money. No, right? Universe says, okay, tell me, what do you want? What do you want? I want to go to Jamaica. All right, now let's figure it out. How can we make that happen? It can happen in so many different ways. Somebody can give you a ticket, right? Somebody can give you the money for the ticket. Somebody, you can sell one of your, 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 your programs. You can sell one of your, you know, like, a, um, uh, you know, like, a, whatever it is I said. I'm good, Ivy, I'm good, good. Whatever it is, right? Money can come to us in so many different ways. If we will, but really surrender and say, okay, uh, okay, how like that, right? I would like my life to be like this. I would like to grow a business this way, right? And, uh, uh, but, no but, right? Uh, I hear people, especially like maybe like uh, I heard a coach tell me last time, I would like to raise my 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 prices, but I don't but I don't think people in my area will 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 uh, will pay for that kind of price. Uh, so like this is really like it's a big lie that our mind tells us, that we tell ourselves. It is such a huge lie. And I say, this is how I go into anything, right? This is how I go. I was, I'll, I'll, I'll share a quick story with you in a minute. This is how I always go now into anything. And this is what like, and it works. It really, really, really works. This is how I go. I go, okay, no one has done that before. Okay, I'll do it. Show me how. This is how I want it. Show me how, right? True self, universe, show me how I can make it happen. That's how, right? And I, I realized, I realized that in the past, I never did that before, right? It wasn't until I started doing that that everything changed in my life. I was recently, so um, I, like I've been living in a in new area um, in Denver, in Lulleton, it's called Lulleton, around the Denver area. I've been living here for the past, let's say, a year and a half now. And uh, when I first got here, uh, uh, when I first got here, I really wanted to share, like locally, I wanted to share all these energy principles, all these energy exercises, because I've always done it, and I wanted to also share with my community. Why? Because like when we, you know, like I noticed even in my own neighborhood, once I started sharing, the whole neighborhood's energy changed. So I knew how powerful it can be to actually start sharing. So when I first came here, I went to the community center over here and I said, listen, my name is Dehesa and I have chosen to come teach classes here, right? How can I make it happen? The first answer was, well, I don't think it's going to happen because X, Y, Z, right? I realized now that at the time I actually wasn't ready. I needed time to settle. I needed time to, uh, to, to, to know the area and I actually needed time to myself. And I didn't realize it at the time, right? But I chose and I said, no matter what, this is going to happen. And I knew exactly the community center because it's only five minutes walk from my house. And I said, this will be so convenient and we'll change our whole energy here. But I let it go, right? I didn't push it, but I knew deep inside some way, somehow, right? I was going to start teaching them. 
and and recently which was like about a week ago which now i'm all settled and i have free like i freed my time right and i have actually this is the funny thing because i was doing there was one activity that i was going doing every tuesdays and now i freed that time and as soon as i freed that time up uh this lady uh reached out to me because i go to pilates pilates classes at the at the community center there i do take pilates classes there which is out to me and she said i heard hi Meryl. i heard that you teach you uh, uh yoga classes and i said yeah i do teach yoga classes right now currently i do teach classes but far away it's about like 35 minutes away from from here but i wanted to teach closer closer it's called body and brain yoga classes and um and so and she said yeah and so, so she said can you do a do demo for us and i said sure i'll come do the a demo for you and so i did the demo for all the people that worked there and they were like oh my god when can you start when can you start when can you start and i said as soon as you're available but then i started you know i was traveling and a lot of things were going on and i was like okay i can only teach this couple of days of of the week if you'll allow me and then as they checked out uh they said oh my god we have other classes at those time slot can you do something else and i said what's what else is available for you and she said uh unless you are willing to do noon classes i don't see how it's possible and i said well sure why why not i'll do tuesdays noon uh oh thank you merle <laughs> me too yeah, and i said sure i'll do tuesdays noon and then she looked at me and she said you know usually noon classes don't do so well at the, this community center and I looked at her and I said, maybe I'll be the one that comes and things about noon classes would change. I was willing to take on the tight challenge. And I know, like, I have such big confidence about this, right? That may sound arrogant to some people, but because of the energy that I intend to bring and because of the intention that I intend to bring. And I said to her, you know what? Don't worry about that. Let's do it. And you might just be surprised by how many people will just show up for uh, a noon class in a very big surprising way, right? Most people will say, you know what, if it doesn't work out on, at noon classes, let's just drop it and then let's, you know, let's not do it or whatever. But in my mind, the way that I look at things now, it's like, get to choose, right? You get to choose, right? Maybe even noon classes may become the most successful, the most, uh, uh, the, the, the classes that have the most people that come to that, the, uh, uh, to the center, to the community center that day. Why? Because it doesn't matter, right? Because always we have all these statistics, we have all these um, uh, numbers, we have all these things that we cage. Hi, Sarah! <laughs> we cage. Uh, you change your name, Sarah. It's no longer Sass. <laughs> we change our name, right? Quel confusion t-shirt on oh, merci, Sabine. Bisous. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, uh, anyways, yeah. So, like, this is how we cage ourselves, right? I, I don't even know how to say it. When I see people or when I hear people say to me, I cannot do this because that. I cannot do this before because that like my heart just breaks right because i know i've been there i know that i used to do the same thing but now it's more like okay so this is what's happening let's focus on what do i want first right let's focus on that. what do i want what do i want and then always shifting back am i saying that never ever do i get into the space where where I feel like, oh my God, everything is well, it's like impossible. The sky is going to fall, whatever. I do get in there because I'm human, because I have emotions, because, you know, like I have preconceived ideas, because I have preconceptions, and I, because I have all those things, right? So it's not about us saying, okay, I'll never be in that space again. But it's all about, first of all, being accepting that, hey, this is who I am. This is, you know, the it's just the baggage that I come with but if that's happening if that's coming up if those emotions are coming out if these like limiting beliefs are coming up like how right still satisfied is messing with me okay good so how can I shift from oh my god I cannot do it to oh my god I can do this just show me how just show him how just show me how right this is why I share my zero point exercise this is why like all these tools that I share with you all the time this is what it's for right this is what it's for it's for us to help us 
shift the back, shift the back, shift the back, always shift the back, right? Always a shift the back. Same thing, right? So if you are a coach or you are whatever, or whatever, <laughs> if you are a coach or you do, you have some sort of services online and you have, you know, you, you are healing the world in, in one way or another, right? You're bringing your energy in one way or another to heal the world. Same thing. I see people that sometimes tell me, one lady or sometimes like a while back told me, uh, I have realized that I cannot pay my bills with coaching. And I said, which world are you living in? Right? It's, it's not true. Right? It's only true if you make it true. It is only true if you make it true. In this same um, coaching arena, right, there are people that are making like 10,000, 20,000, 15,000, 50,000, 100, people that are charging, trust me, listen to my word, people that are charging $100,000 for their services, right? So if they can do it, why not you, right? If they can do it, why not you? The difference is they trust in themselves. They trust in something bigger than statistics. They trust in, you know, in something bigger than uh, uh, numbers. They trust in something bigger than uh, uh, limitation, right? They just go, do, 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 do. hello, Barbara, I missed you too. I am back, right? <laughs> right? It is so much more than, you know, like, we get so stuck up, right? This is one thing that I also wanted to share with you. I, you. Some of you may have realized, I know some of you even here, may have realized that I upped my game a little bit when it comes to internet marketing, right? Like uh, I'm using things like a uh, message, like a Facebook man, Bart message, whatever it's called, you know, automated messaging, like inside um, uh, Facebook Messenger. Messenger, but it's called, I believe, right? Uh, I'm, I'm using more sophisticated things uh, to actually uh, grow my business to the next level, to the next level. So now, uh, what am I going to talk about? I'm talking about so many people start, like at the beginning, and they are like, I have to create this, I have to do a webinar, I have to do this other thing, I have, before I'm actually start, before starting to get clients. That's actually a big lie, right? And listen, it's a big lie because if you actually, if you look at, if you looked at the way that I do my marketing, it's actually pretty, pretty simple. Up until now, it's been pretty, pretty simple. I've had uh, 10K months, 15K months, 20K months, and plus, right? But, uh, <laughs> thank you, Fever. I'm, I feel so, I feel Fever and everybody. Thank you so much for your love. Right. Thank you so much for welcoming me back. The reason I didn't say anything, but the reason why I was absent uh, for a little bit was because a couple of weeks ago, not even a couple of weeks, yeah, maybe a week and a half ago, uh, my aunt, my, uh, my father's sister passed away and I just wanted a little bit of time. Uh, to be with myself and also I, I don't know I just felt like um, I just wanted to be you know just wanted to be with myself and just you know just be present and with family and stuff like that so thank you Barbara yeah so but I'm, I'm glad I'm back I'm, I'm glad yeah it's okay thank you Ivy yeah anyways so you know that happens that's part of life but we cannot let that stop us um, it's part of life it shook me a little bit because um, uh, she pretty much, you know, like it, it was just a little bit like a reminder. She's my dad's uh, big sister and it was, just took me back again to uh, when my dad passed away and there was a lot of things going on around here also. But it's all good. It really is. It's, uh, you know, in, in, in any case, you know, even when they leave, some of you that are here, some of you that are here that are in my group program, you know a lot more about me than, than, than you know. In any ways, we know that even though they are not, they are gone physically, they are still here with us and we can communicate with them and so on and so forth. So that's all. But we still miss them, uh, their physicality, you know, getting to touch them and hug them and stuff like that. Anyway, so where was I? I forgot what I was talking. Somebody remind me, please. What was I talking about? What was I talking about? Please remind me. Oh, Tehessa. <laughs> yeah. 
um yeah i oh okay sure yeah i think i was talking about like uh, uh when like not not limiting ourselves it's not true a lot of things are just things that we create in our head i cannot make ten thousand dollars uh uh, in a month, that's a big lie because other people are making it. I'm making it. Lots of other coaches are making it. That's a big lie, right? I cannot do this, do that because of this. We always have this, all these other arguments, right? Or oh, that this is something that I actually see quite often. Uh, somebody comes to me and then I say, oh, okay, let's do it. And then the first thing they say is, oh, I have to do this. If I don't do this, if I don't do that, if I don't have a summit, if I don't have a webinar, if I don't have uh, a funnel, then there's no way that I can create uh, that big income in, uh, in my business. That's a big lie. That's actually not true. That's not what works. That works, especially. And am I saying that those things are not, don't, don't work? Absolutely not. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that at all, right? The proof is now I'm making my, 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 my marketing a little bit more so sophisticated and that's also working. But what I'm saying is that if you are first starting, if you are just start, starting out, that is actually a waste of your time right now, right? That is not the best use of your time. What works is First of all, right, this is something that is working more and more and more now because the world is changing, right? The world, like, we've seen all the funnels, we've seen all those things, people are actually jaded by it, right? We've seen all these other things that a lot of big, like, gurus, like, marketing gurus talk about all the time. Do you know what happens? Uh, when like we see something over and over again, right? We, you've seen it, you've seen it. You've seen it here, you've seen it there, you've seen it there. Uh, at the end of the day, we just start ignoring it. We just start ignoring it. Uh, it still does work, but that's not the most effective uh, use of your time if you are starting out, right? So if you are just starting out, best use of your time is first of all, number one, right? Number one use of your time, first of all, uh, Create, like, make a clear choice. Clearly decide, right? And release any resistance around it. Clearly decide that, okay, this is what I want to create in my life. This is what I want to create in my business, right? That's number one. Like, this is very, very important, right? Number two, if this is about money, release any resistance about money. Like, learn to actually know money. Study money. Money is a whole different entity, right? Some people are ashamed of it. Some people don't. As I'm speaking about it right now, I know a couple of people are going to drop off because because they have resistance about money. It's not about me. It's because of their own resistance around money. So if we start a business and we have resistance around money, you can bet, right? You can bet money is not going to flow in easily, right? Now money is not going, or if it does flow in, it just will not stay around, right? Release resistance around money. Business, we don't have a business if we're not getting an income. We do not. We do not have a business if we're not getting an income, right? So that's number one, make a clear choice, release any resistance around, you know, uh, your choice, your, cho your, your, the thing that you say that you want, right? Release the resistance. I have a whole process that I actually walk. Uh, some of the ladies that are, I think my dear is here, yeah, she participated in that. I have a whole process that I share with my clients in my group programs, right? How to release resistance around anything, right? Does that mean that I never get a resistance anymore? Absolutely not, right? My dear knows because even while I'm teaching and I'm sharing this process, I myself am releasing more and more of my resistance. And what happens when that happens is that it's becoming easier and easier and easier for me to actually welcome more money get more clients in my clients my my message becomes much clearer and so on and so forth because I made a clear choice right and I made a clear choice knowing why that choice number two releasing resistance not only around my choices but also releasing resistance around choosing uh, my around money right knowing money studying money this is a big deal right doesn't matter how many marketing tools you have it doesn't matter how many like um, like sophisticated things you have if your resistance around money uh is big around money right or you don't know money right like know or study money a lot like 
nothing happens, right? Nothing happens. On the other hand, if you do know money, if you study the more money, you make it um, uh, easy for money uh, to actually easily flow into your life, into your business, you actually don't need all these sophisticated, uh, uh, all the sophisticated tools that everybody is clinging into out there, right? You don't, right? Because then intuitively, right, uh, you can actually come up with ways uh, to, 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 to actually get clients into your business. I know that I've had coaches, I've had mentors, like business mentors, who ended up what? Um, uh, starting to actually use my own, my own practices, my own strategies. Why? Right? This is the word strategy. In my business, I use strategies that uh, I actually don't see many people using out there right and then when i tell people they say you did what and you, you got what how much you know people get very very surprised people get very very surprised by it how do i come up with these uh these strategies these strategies come from within right like from my intuition right and because it's from my own intuition it's so aligned with me that when I'm, when i implement them it actually works right so which brings me to number three bringing your own essence your true essence into your business right no matter what you're doing no matter what business you're in no matter even even if you are working for somebody right even if you are working for somebody you will see that if you whenever you bring your own essence your true essence right your 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 the brightest part of yourself into anything that you do it makes such a huge difference that's one thing that works the things that work are uh, first making a clear choice, second, uh, uh, re oh my God, what just happened? <laughs> second, releasing resistance around your choices and money, right? Um, third, uh, bringing your true essence. I'll have put that first, but vice versa, you can put that anywhere, right? Those are very, very important things, right? Uh, to, 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 to actually, um, start creating that growth especially money growth in uh, uh in your business what happens when we see the same things over and over and over and over again from you know uh, when one guru teaches the same thing to gazillion people then we start seeing it all over the place and uh, people just don't look but our true essence when we bring that you know it's like i've shared this story before right there are people like if you are in the coaching healing uh, services arena right and you are sharing those things and you are bringing healing into people's life and then you feel like uh, my you know like even though I'm doing all this I just cannot get the money I just cannot you know like oh you feel like okay this is only I can only do this and then I have to supplement with something else that I'm not very passionate about you know I see people doing that where they feel like because they're not making enough money into their coaching, they have to actually go and then supplement coaching with something else, right? Uh, and then they start believing, oh, maybe coaching is not going to pay my bills and blah, blah, blah. That's not true. That's not true. And those three things are important that I just cited. The fourth thing is, uh, you know, like you know your how, you know what you can do, but how to actually uh, share it in a way that makes people uh, start wanting to uh, to take action, right? How to share it in a way that people say, oh my God, I need that right now. I actually have to get in because I believe in what she's sharing and I believe that she can help me. That is actually another big thing because uh, I can see uh, sometimes, right? And some I've been there, in the past where like you can see people going facebook live or like sharing 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 all the time putting themselves out there but no results why uh because there's no like the formulation how to put it in a way that actually inspires people to take action is actually lacking from there right um uh, so that was my facebook live today my facebook live they started with are you being a broadcasting channel for people around you to actually create their own desires the only reason you may be that way right you may be the facilitator of people uh, you know like in your life like you introduce them to something they take it and then they make um uh, their own growth and they grow beyond your dream right it's because 
you have not clearly chosen with conviction that you can do it right clearly choosing having like a clarity in your mind this is what i want deciding this is what i want and then relying on your true essence your true self god the universe whatever you call it relying on that and keep asking how can i make it happen how can i make it happen how can i make it happen and then focus on that your energy goes on to your own uh, desires as opposed to other people using right uh, writing your energy to create their own desires one more thing that i want to mention about that is that for us to be actually able to uh, effectively use our energy for our own desires one thing very important is being anchored in our low abdomen having that that fuel right that create focus right i cannot say this enough I cannot say this enough when uh, when we have we are anchored only when we are anchored in our law of the meaning we have gathered in our, enough energy like in like uh, um, in, in our second chakra in our in our you know like uh, accumulated enough energy uh, in our second chakra it does so many different things uh, including having focus having the ability to focus on our goals having our the ability to focus on our desires right this is like i cannot say this enough this is like if there's anything that you 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 want to learn right you feel like okay if there's anything that you know like you feel like okay if there was one thing that i couldn't emphasize more on uh if there's only one thing that you can ever learn Right. If there is only one thing that you can ever learn from me and I had to choose, I would say please focus on your low abdomen. Please accumulate a lot of energy in your low abdomen. Because from there, everything else, right? From there you can find focus. From there you can find guidance. From there you can find, uh, you know, that's also the magnet of your body. That you can find attraction, easily attracting uh, things that you want in your life, right? Easily attracting things in your life. From there is your power, right? Unfortunately, we live in a world, and I feel like that's actually the root of all our, our problems because we are depleted of energy in that area, right? All of us, right? Most of us, right, are depleted of energy in that area because we have so much stimulation in our world now. We have so much stimulation. Energy goes out, out, out through all here, and then we don't have a way to actually uh, re replenish the energy uh, that actually helps us create. So how do you uh, replenish that energy? One thing, right, one thing that I can not say enough of is belly button healing exercise. Belly button healing exercise, uh, if you have never heard of belly button healing exercise, I am going to put a link, right? Please remind me if you need it and I forget, sometimes I do forget. I'm going to put a link to belly button healing exercise uh, after I get off this, right? One thing, that's one thing. The second thing, low abdomen tapping is really good at activating. But if I can, like if there's one thing, I have more advanced things that I share with my clients, but I cannot share with you on the, this Facebook Live because that will involve getting my yoga mat and lying on my, my back and stuff like that. But, right, if you start with just those two things, like a lot of things are going to uh, change in your life. A lot of things, right? Creating that heat, right? Creating that heat in your lower abdomen. Sometimes I still get depleted. Again, we live in this very overstimulated uh, world. Sometimes I still get stimulated uh, or depleted. Like uh, uh, when I was, you know, like that day when I found out my aunt passed away, what did I do? I just laid in bed, right? I just laid in bed a little bit and then I, I, I watched movies. That's the worst thing you can do actually. <laughs> But I did it. I'm human, right? Um, I watch the movies and it's because when I'm lying down, energy and um, my mind is on the movie, by right? Netflix, energy is just going out, out, out. And it's not, it's not coming back up. Ah, it's not coming back, right? And if you notice this, I've no, I don't know if you've ever noticed this. If like one day you wake up and you say to yourself, okay, uh, I feel lazy. The only thing I want to do now is watch movies. And then you lie on the couch and then you watch movies all day long. 
when you get up you will feel so exhausted your body will feel so tired and in my case when i used to do that right my lower back will start this is this is key to me right when i start feeling like okay my lower back is, is starting to hurt i know i'm totally depleted in that and then i feel like okay now it's time to get back now it's time to refill I, the good thing is that we have ways to actually accumulate that energy so that we can become the magnets, uh, that we can find focus and all that. All right. Um, on that note, a lot is happening this week, right? A lot is happening this week. I am actually here. So if you are an online coach, right? This is announcement number one. If you're an online coach and you feel like, okay, you are a healer, right? Katina said, Katina said, I took the wooden pillow class last night and belly button BBY. What's BBY? Or is it BBH? And it was amazing and my body feels more open. Yes! Yes, okay. I imagine you, you meant BBY, belly button feeling, right, Katina? I, may, I, may, I imagine that's what you're talking about. Uh, Barbara said, thank you for the clarification. Did not fully understand the abdomen was so powerful. It is the most powerful. Like I can tell you right now, it is one of the most powerful things. If there's one thing, right? Uh, if there's one thing that, uh, oh, okay, but I'll bring you, okay, okay, got it. That, uh, that I can, you know, like, because it will, first of all, Okay, let me go a little bit deeper into this, right? Let me go a little bit deeper into this. So you may know that we have like seven energy centers in our body, right? From first first energy center, which is like around your, I don't want to see, say the word Facebook. Sometimes I don't want me to say certain word, S-E and, you know, complete, right? <laughs> I'm not going to say, but it's in that area. It's around your perineum area. Uh, that's the first one, first chakra, which is actually uh, our connection to the earth. It's really our connection to the earth, our root, whatever we call it, right? But that that first energy center is a gate. It's you cannot accumulate energy there, right? The second energy center, on the other hand. Oh, my dear said, I can't wait to watch the replay. Awesome. This style was so me, right? Second one, second energy center. Hi, my dear. <laughs> second energy center is the one I'm talking about. The second chakra is actually a tank, right? Is a tank. And the more we accumulate energy, uh, hi, Natalie, Natalie. Uh, the more we accumulate energy in that tank, the more, right, first of all, we can actually, that energy can transmute and can change and change, heal our third chakra. Let's, let, okay, let, let me put it this way for you. So like in the second chakra, it's like we have, like that second energy center, it's like we have um, raw gasoline, right? Like what's that, what's that, um, uh, what's that like the rawest gasoline that we have? What is it called again? Gasol? No. What is it called? You know, the one that when you go to the pump, there is two type of gas. There's one that is like the, the rawest, the rawest, and then uh, there's another one that is like unleaded, and then whatever, right? So let's, I'm going to give it as an example. So like in your second chakra is the rawest, right? Raw, like the raw, 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 raw energy, which means uh, it's not necessarily the purest energy, right? But it is like the more you accumulate energy there, the more it actually purifies, right? The more you accumulate energy there, the more it can actually move into purifying energy and opening energy in the third, right, uh, third chakra, and also opening, opening here, opening uh, uh, your heart chakra. And then uh, from the heart chakra, even that energy is still not the purest. This is, I'm going way too deep into this, right? I'm just going to like simplify it for you. Even here, right? It is here, like the energy in here compared to the energy in here is lighter, right? Is lighter and purer. But then when this energy here matures uh, and uh, also changes, changes, matures enough, it actually also evolves into here, which becomes the brighter, brighter, brighter energy. 
don't know if it makes sense but in any case right where we want to start right a lot of us right we learn all these principles about spirituality and all that it's all here right and so what we end up doing is right I was sharing this with the people in my group recently uh, in my group program recently what we end up doing is that uh, you know how a triangle is like this right when we have a strong base can you see that so a, a triangle when it's sitting like this right let's say this is your second chakra right the the foundation right when the foundation is a flat and strong and it has a, enough energy and then you now let's say this is like spiritual information the sixth chakra and all that right when we have that only can we be strong and stable right but let me tell you one thing most people have this shape right oh can you see May can you see okay most people have this shape what does that mean that means they have way too much spiritual information way too much information up here right oh can you see okay way too much information up here right and then not a strong foundation not enough energy in the foundational area right so what ends up happening is you know like this is not this is not a balanced ship this is not balanced right this is how most people are going around in the world today too much information up in the head too much information too much absorbing of spirituality too much absorb or like we absorb a lot and this includes me because this is where i was right absorbing too much information right we want to know more we want to learn more tell me more let me watch more videos let me watch you know learn uh, all these things in my head right and then right here we don't have enough strong foundation to actually support support the information and that's actually quite dangerous actually I, I don't want to scare you or anything like that that's where we get out of our head we we get stuck in our head that's when uh we we think things that are actually quite irrational it doesn't make sense because we don't have enough strong enough of a strong foundation uh, to carry all that information that we have and that kind of shape that kind of uh, uh, like uh, energy structure in our body can actually guide us into not guide us like really um, get us into places where we are totally depleted we may have a lot of clients but we hate working with our clients or uh, like we don't you know like it seems like everybody wants so much from us we cannot handle it or uh, we are so stuck in our head we we believe in our limitation we believe blah 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 right we believe in so many different things uh, that we cannot do it because XYZ it's just stories we're telling ourselves but then when we have enough strong foundation right when we have enough of a strong foundation then ah information can be digested well we are much more objective uh, you know like we we are much clearer about what it is that uh what's happening does that make sense right this actually is a big deal in the world today right this is a big deal i see gazillion of people going through this all the time right why because i also was there I also was there right sometimes I still get there that's what I was sharing earlier with you when I was depleted in my lower abdomen then and information takes over like our mind our mind takes over we don't want to rely on that what we want to rely like we want to be like then we, we want to fall into oh this is rational right this is rational Oh, uh, these numbers uh, what I have to follow or uh, like we get stuck on all these notions uh, notions of how things are supposed to be blah 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 those are just stories I am telling you those are just stories that our mind sometimes is uh, is telling us all right and I wish right uh, favor say you are such a greater teacher great teacher uh, it makes more sense to me now yes right so many of us so many of us right this is to me that is the foundation of it all if you know a lot because we've now we live in, in you know because we've learned all this law of attraction all this spirituality uh, notion we've learned it we absorbed it right but if we don't have a strong foundation you can easily get crazy right crazy quote-unquote right it can get, easily get out of control this is how this is how 
tell let, I'll let you know this is how sometimes you can see even spiritual leaders become corrupted because they don't have enough of a strong foundation right because then it becomes just knowledge we get lost in our knowledge right how can you tell how can you tell if you are in that state first of all if you feel hazy all the time you feel like you are lost in your mind you feel like oh things are not going well and you feel like first of all you are blaming other people for stuff or or like you wake up and you feel anxious right or you feel like you feel anxiety or you feel like short tempered all the time right that is another sign for me like for me when i start feeling one big like red sign for me red red uh uh, what do you call it like red life for me when I start getting into that I'm like oh my god I need to fix it one is when I start feeling cold that means energy is not feeling like when I start my hands start feeling cold energy my feet start feeling cold energy I know energy is not circulating I have lost energy balance in my body and in that state again we stop blaming other people right we start blaming other people as opposed to taking responsibility right as opposed to taking responsibility for everything that's happening and asking right when we are strong when we have the strong foundation that is when you know you know how earlier i was saying uh one of the first thing is choose and then ask ask your true essence ask your true self how can we do that right only when we have a strong foundation can we actually trust right only when we are feeling that heat in our gut can we trust right can we trust a lot of people come to me sometimes right still saying okay they just want to learn they just want to learn they just want to learn right they just want to learn you don't need to learn anything anymore right you don't right of course i share a lot of things a lot of things that i share with you is so that you can create your own awakening so that you can become your own a leader in in something that you awaken to right so that you can like tap into your essence feel that awaken that so that you can create your own uh empire whatever it is that you choose to create you can do that right the sky is the limit the sky is the limit when i first started uh maybe a year ago or so i made bold statement a lot of you that were there back then look at me now it's like oh my god she did it right because i know what i rely on even when i make a decision and i say i'm going to do that right i never right a lot of the times it doesn't make any sense to anybody right a lot of the times people say like how are you supposed to do that when i first started this a lot of people said that to me i don't see how you can uh, make that i haven't heard like close friends close people to me right that said to me i think you should separate your business with spirituality i think you should keep those separate you should not mix those together because because xyz thanks danny i love you too katina right but i had a conviction i knew why i wanted to do what i wanted to do i knew why i wanted to do what i wanted to do and i went for it and i know a lot of you are here are healers uh uh you know you have services that are bringing are bringing a lot of healing into the world those are the people these are my people right <laughs> those are the people that i enjoy in some way one way or another you are bringing some sort of healing in your people's lives in the world's life right when i first started my big goal if you go back and you watch any of my videos in the back in the in the past big goal right i said this this and uh people might have thought hey she's so arrogant why is she saying that right but i still stand by it until today right the reason why i'm doing what i'm doing is because i found healing and i feel like i need to bring that to as many people as possible in the world and i feel like i need to bring that to as many people as possible in the world but guess what the icing on the cake is that by doing that i am healing myself more and more and more and more which is the most beautiful thing that i've ever seen right in my opinion in my opinion and then it turns out to be 
right? Whenever I was having any sort of challenges, right? And whenever I was like, oh my God, this is happening, the sky is about to fall. Right? Most people, a lot of people, especially, oh, sure. A lot of people will just give up. It's too hard. I cannot do this, right? It's too hard if you say so, right? But uh, whenever, whenever it became challenging, because of course it will become challenging because why? For my own growth for my own expansion, right? Uh, and I'm so grateful to, for all the challenges that I have been through that I'm, I know are still going to come, right? Uh, at the end of the day, I realized this, right? Oh my God, like I look at, my, at myself back then and now, it's only been like a year and a half, believe it or not, right? Such huge growth, not about money, right? Money is good and all that, but that's not what I'm talking about. The person that I have become in the process. I cannot even say that into words, in words, right? So much healing has happened in my life, right? So whenever something gets, you know, challenging, this